This is Earth Divine 360, where you can get your tarot readings and your spirituality on. And you can sip, you can relax, you can just unwind, listen to the soothing sound of my voice as I read your cards and calm your mind, soothe your energy. Earth Divine 360, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, tell a friend. This is what I'm all about. Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Earth Divine 360 Tarot. What I'm looking at with these cards is you're dealing with someone who is definitely not on your level. Maybe this person is younger than you and they're just way too carefree. And um, it leads to a lot of arguments because this person is just not on your level. There are a lot of arguments here. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But it's just like this person is not on your level is what I'm seeing. A lot of arguing. This person is very immature. But it's like you're stuck to this person. It's like you're trying to break a cycle with this person. End a cycle with this person. Maybe you feel like this person is very selfish or they're holding on to you. For um, a specific reason. Maybe because their money is not in order. Maybe because this person is like disowned by their family. And their family is not willing to help this person. So this person is leading, leaning on you for support. And you feel like this person could be trying to use you for your money. Maybe this person is dealing with someone else, okay? So you have somebody who's dealing with somebody else, and it's just like, what the what is the point of this entire situation? Because you have the Three of Cups here reverse, third-party situation. Let's see what's going on here. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Whoa. Some of you have children with this person or this person is very childlike in behavior. What's going on with this person here? <laughs> it's saying you deserve love. They need to heal their family issues. You guys got a lot going on when it comes to the love area. That's why so many cards are flying out. This person has red flags that you need to pay attention to that doesn't always mean that you need to leave the person um maybe you could want somebody to go back to school or finish school to further their career because there's a lack of understanding here with this person maybe this person just mentally isn't on your level maybe you are a lot older than this person maybe you had a miscarriage because you're older or somebody here is older in a situation could be reverse could be an older man and a younger woman or a younger man and an older woman here or maybe somebody's being disowned by their family because they were pregnant and forced into getting an abortion or led to a miscarriage 
um, in this relationship, you need to be playful again. You need to tap into your inner child. Maybe somebody is too playful and that's why you guys are getting into arguments because someone's never serious. For some of you, it's safe to love and it says open up your heart. You may have blockages. You may be being mean towards this person or having an attitude towards this person. Um, some of you might have trust issues. Okay. Why? Let's, let's see something here. Why is this happening for my Sagittarius? Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aquarius, though. Yeah, yeah, what is wrong? So, for some of you Sagis, your throat chakra may be blocked. You may be experiencing blockages and you might be just saying crazy shit right now, like real negative stuff because you're just in a, a bad place right now. Um some of you, some of you are dealing with a miscarriage heartache and loss some of you are dealing with a death in the family or someone you know some of you have lost a child and that is the reason why the way how you speak to people might come across you know really mean and jacked up and you're suffering from a miscarriage but some of you you recently stopped going back to school or you stopped studying for a trade you're not in school anymore you're taking a break from school but for some of you, this is just arguing way too much and just being really nasty or somebody is being really nasty towards you or somebody is not understanding you at this time. Somebody is definitely deceiving you and maybe that's why you, there's these blow ups and these arguments. OK, and there's a lot of envy. There could be envy because somebody sees you doing well in life. Somebody sees you. Um, you know, having these achievements, being happy with your family, and somebody could be getting in your head, talking crazy to you. This could be an elder man or woman with the Queen of Swords reverse energy here. Somebody could be telling you, hey, no, what are you doing? Oh, if you go ahead with that person, you could forget about it. You could forget about being a part of this family. You're out of this family, okay? And somebody probably doesn't want to allow you to access like the family trust fund or something like that. The family money. It's, you know. So it's just like, I, I feel like it's an ultimatum. For some of you, this is a marriage. Like if you get married to this person and I see like some of you chose fine fine I, I'm I'm gonna leave this person alone like I'm not gonna be with this person or I'm not gonna have this child definitely all in your head right now with the five of swords energy definitely all in your head you're surrounded by swords. Yes, there's conflict. Experiencing a loss. Feel, feeling defeated. Feeling betrayed. And probably trying to keep things to yourself to avoid conflict, right? For some of you, you need to just follow your intuition and use your intuition on this one. Because the outcome is just unknown. This is a decision that you're going to have to make on your own for yourself nobody can help you with this decision whatever this decision is here
Some of you dealing with a Gemini. Some of you dealing with an Aries. Okay. You have to open up your imagination, your subconscious mind. There is a sacrifice that you're going to have to make. You need to meditate. You have to have more compassion, but I feel like more compassion for yourself, not others. Because at this time, I just feel like you're putting everybody's needs before your own. Okay. You can't let anger get the best of you. Don't move from a place of anger. Don't move. Don't make decisions from that place. You really have to go within. With this decision that you have to make, you have to dig within. This is not something, like I said, that somebody could give you the answer to. This is all you. I see somebody's apologizing to you or somebody's going to be moving towards you with like romance and just like a loving heart trying to pick you back up. This is you right here with the Queen of Wands energy. Somebody is trying to pick you back up. Reminding you to love yourself, reminding you to take care of yourself. Some of you have lost a child or are still dealing with the effects of a miscarriage. Or some of you have lost income um, or resources. But definitely this is like the loss, loss, excuse me, loss of a child. Pardon me, I'm getting tongue-tied. Some of you were struggling in the recent past. Somebody could be apologizing for what you went through. The reason why you were fighting. You guys were like somebody wasn't recognizing what you were going through. They weren't realizing that you were sick. And you could have been arguing with this person. Hey, I'm sick. I don't feel well. I'm going through a hard economic time. Things are very difficult for me. And this person was just not understanding. And it led to a lot of conflict. Okay, this is definitely fire sign with air sign energy. Okay, and earth sign as well. So now you could be feeling better. You could be coming out of this economic hardship. You could be coming out of feeling sick. You could be coming out of all of these things. Oh my goodness. Sagittarius, you have a lot going on. One, you need to use your intuition because there definitely is mental conflict that you're going through at this time. There are definitely sacrifices that you have to make. There's this disruption of energy. With that envy card, somebody's definitely jealous of what you have because you have harmony with someone. You have a connection with someone. You really need to balance out your emotions with your solar plexus. You have something good with someone and someone could be very envious. Even their envy and their harsh words could have led to... A miscarriage for some of you because you're allowing someone to get into your head you're allowing someone to plant thoughts that were not there some of you need solitude a moment by yourself It's like almost being blocked with the Ace of Wands, low sex drive, low passion, just, just completely blocked. There's definitely someone who is patient and they want to make this offer to you. And it's like they've been patiently just sitting there waiting. They know exactly what they want to do with you. They know exactly the plans that they have for you. They know exactly what they want to do. They're just being very patient right now. They're a hard worker. They're worried about getting their money together right now. Because when they approach you, whoever this person is, Sagittarius, when they approach you, they want to make sure it's right. They also want to make sure that you're right. Okay? This is also a power couple. Nine of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Boom. There you go. Okay. They want to make sure they're right and you're right because their offer is they want to get married and they want to have a child. This is what they want to offer you. For some of you, this is they want to offer you a baby. They want to offer you marriage. They want to, they're definitely going to offer you something. And they, they, 
wanted to wait until they had the means to be able to offer this to you. They didn't just want to come with you, come like with nothing. Because the they've been thinking like, how am I going to approach this person? What kind of offer am I going to make this person? They had to, they went nights where they weren't sleeping. It was driving them crazy. Now they know exactly what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. They're coming up with a plan, Sagittarius. They're coming up with a plan on what they're going to do. Positivity, prosperity, and abundance is what we come to bring to you. This is what I'm all about.